Hey guys, Brittany Church here, and today we're going to look at a Head Start lesson plan involving measurement. Um, I have realized that our Head Start kids that we deal with are mainly ages 3 to 5, so of course they don't know how to read. So I've kept the literature to a minimum on this PowerPoint, and we're going to stick with basically descriptions and with um, pictures for them. So... What we're covering today is the Virginia Mathematics Foundation Block Number 3, and that's measurement. And today, mainly what we're going to look at is um, the different types of measurement that the children will see most often. And we're going to focus on length, capacity, weight, time, and temperature. And we're going to describe what tools that we use to measure those and kind of give them real life examples of what they're going to see. So our first question is, what is measurement? And to put it in Head Start terms, measurement is just a way for us to see how big or small something is. Um, you know, we can, we can help the children learn to compare and contrast different attributes of, you know, what they'll see in the classroom. We can say, you know, Billy is taller than Mandy is. Well, how do we know that? We know that because we can put them side by side and measure and find out which measurement is larger or smaller than the other. So with length, there are a few different basic tools that the children will see pretty often. And uh, I've included a few examples here. We've got our ruler, our tape measure, and our soft tape measure. Of course, the ruler the children will be using in the classroom to measure the, you know, just measure whatever kind of little toys we have out. They'll use it to draw straight lines with. That will be their most common tool that they will use to measure in the classroom. Another option we have is a tape measure. Um, most of our kids are very familiar with these tape measures. Daddy, Papa, you know, someone would have a tape measure that works construction when they build. And they're a really fun tool or a tool and a toy to keep in the classroom for the kids. They really enjoy playing with them. Um, we also have the soft tape measure here, and that one is a little bit trickier for them to use just because it's not as rigid as the ruler and the tape measure is, but our kids will see those at home in cases where, you know, the adults will sew. That's really the most common way that they'll see it. So for a little bit of practice, I have included a slide here that has a ruler and it has a rectangle up above it. And this ruler is just a standard ruler. It measures in inches. So what we're looking for here is we want to show the children that when you place the beginning of this rectangle at the main beginning of the ruler, where the zero notch would be, they will count out and they will see where it stops. And in this instance, the line shows that the rectangle stops at the number 17. And that would mean that in this case, this rectangle is 17 inches long. Our next topic we're going to look at is capacity. And capacity is a pretty, pretty big word to use in the Head Start realm, but um, basically in a nutshell, capacity is how much can something hold. So the, mainly in our classrooms, what they're going to see is they're going to see solid measuring cups where you would measure out your flour, your sugar, things like that in the kitchen. You're measuring spoons, which would give you the smaller measurements like tablespoons, teaspoons, things like that. And then, of course, our liquid measuring cups. And that's where we would measure out you know, our water, our milk, just our oil, different liquids. So when looking at capacity, the best way to determine how much is inside of it is to get a liquid measuring cup. I found that that's our easiest way of teaching capacity to the children because it gives you a very clear view, a very clear measurement, and they can fill the liquid right up to the top. And I know in this example, we're using clear water in this cup, but one way to make it a little bit easier for our young eyes to see this measurement is to mix in a little bit of food coloring with your water. That way they can see the contrast of the colors and it's just easier to see and gauge the difference. So when we look at this cup, we see 
it's measured in cup increments. We've got half, one, one and a half, two, two and a half. And we see that our water level will stop at the two cup mark. So since the water level stops right there at two cups, that means we have two cups of liquid inside of our measuring cup. Our next unit of measurement that the kids will see and experience quite a bit is weight. And basically, when we're discussing weight, we're trying to determine how heavy or how light something is. And I've included a few examples here. Um, we have our bathroom scale, which most children will see at home, and we actually use in the classroom quite a bit. Um, we take measurements of the children. We weigh them at the beginning of the year. We weigh them at the end of the year for health purposes, of course, but they are exposed to that in the classroom. Um, we have our kitchen scale here where we would weigh out ingredients or where we just determine different weights. We have things in the classroom like um, grams, metal blocks, toys, just determine how much they weigh. And then our last set of scales there is the more traditional scale where you would put an object on one side in the bowl and then on the other side you would put another object and of course the one that drops down lower would be your heavier object and the one that raises higher would be your lighter object. So these are some pretty common examples that they'll see. We have all of these examples available in our classroom and they use them quite frequently. And here in this example of how much does it weigh, I just decided to use the most basic um, kitchen scale, like what we have in the classroom, and it has a digital measurement on it, so it makes it a little bit easier for the kids to see. Of course, we have other examples as well where we have the dial gauge, things of that nature, but here it just makes it a little bit easier to see for the purpose of this PowerPoint. And um, we've placed two rings on this picture. It's on the scale, um, and as you can see, it says 13.9, and this particular scale measures in grams. So when we would be reviewing this with the children, we would be saying, okay, you know, these two rings weigh 13.9 grams. And we know that by laying them on the scale that has nothing else on it. Our next unit of measurement that we're going to look at is time. And time is something that our children are very, very, very familiar with. Um, we hear every day, oh, can we have more time outside? Or can we please have more play time? Is it lunchtime yet? So how do we know what time it is during the day? And um, that's where our basic tools of measurement for time come in. That is our clock. We have our clocks, we have our calendars, we have our planners, all of these. But basically, the most simple way of measuring time is your clock. And that's what the children will see. Of course, I've included the analog clock and I've included a digital clock as well. Obviously, the children don't know how to read an analog clock just yet, but we do try and familiarize them with them, and it's a great tool to use to teach them their numbers as well, and especially identify numbers by sight. Um, but mainly what we'll stick to is our digital clock here because it's very easy to see. And in this example, we're looking for a time. And this is a digital clock. Most of our kids have seen them with alarm clocks. You know, mommy and daddy get them up early mornings. And this, this alarm clock would show around about the time a lot of our kids wake up. So it says on here it is 6.38 a.m. And we know that because on the screen we have a six and the number 38. So our hour is six o'clock. Our minutes, we have 38 minutes out of that hour. So it's 6.38 and it says a.m. on the side. And since it says a.m., we know that means morning. So it's 6.38 in the morning right now, according to this clock. Our last unit of measurement we're going to look at is temperature. And this, yet again, is something that we try and familiarize the children with. Um, I've included the examples like our outdoor thermometer, which we have out on the playground. Our kids can look at it and tell us if it's warm enough to go outside, if it's too cold to go outside. Um, we have our oral thermometer. All of the kids are very familiar with this. We actually offer them um, as a play toy in the doctor's area of the classroom. Then we have the ear thermometer, which they get at home, you know, at the doctor's office, different things like that. And looking at this example, we see that we have an outdoor thermometer here, 
and we see the mercury bar that is coming from the bottom. Our red line will measure what the temperature outside actually is. And if you count up and you see, the red line stops at the number 10. So that shows that it is currently 10 degrees outside according to that thermometer. So here we're gonna have just a couple of examples, kind of tie everything together. Um, here we have a picture of our tape measure. And when we review this with the children, we would say, you know, all right, can you tell me what this tape measure is used for? And if the children say it's used to measure length or how long something is, how short something is, they'd be correct. Our final example here is a picture of somebody standing on a bathroom scale. And what we want to know here is what type of measurement are we looking for if we're using a bathroom scale? We're wanting to find out how much someone weighs. So when they stand on this bathroom scale, we're looking for the measurement of weight. And I have included a handout for our parents here to help our children with. Um, there's also a homework assignment that I have sent home as well. If you wouldn't mind, please help them fill that out and send that back in by the end of the week. I would really appreciate that. And thank you very much.